Welcome to Publishing Smarter's video tutorial series on working with DITA using the 2017 release of Adobe FrameMaker. This tutorial introduces a very basic DITA concept. It builds on ideas from our earlier videos, so we'll start to speed things up a bit. In this video, you will see our preferred workspace with the Element Catalog and Structure view showing. We've saved it as DITA Author, and if you want to see how to set it up, watch our first tutorial video. Let's start and create a new concept by clicking Concept in the Welcome screen. A new concept is created and automatically populated with some element banner text. This helps guide you as you start to work with content. As we've done in the previous tutorials, let's save the file. As we have previously created folders for tutorials, create another one named tutorial underscore 04 and then open it. Name the file C underscore saving files with a .xml extension. It should follow the path indicated on screen. When done, click Save. Again, the video shows our preferred workspace with both the element catalog and the structure view on the right and the document on the left. Let's add a title. Just start to type, and the placeholder content, Enter Title Here, is replaced with the text Saving Files. To update the short description, you can click beside the short description element in the structure view. We'll work with the structure view, but you could also choose to click in the document where the element banner text displays the text, Enter a short description here, instead. Type the following short description. Now let's add some body content. Using the structure view, click in the con body element to the right of the nested P element. Then type the following content. If you are following along step by step, you can always pause the video if you need more time. Remember that when you are working with DITA, it may be helpful at times to see the element boundaries in your document as you work. Toggle the element boundaries as tags on or off using the menu. If you prefer, you can also view the tags as square brackets instead of full tags. While tags on and boundaries are similar, the boundaries take up less space, but also provide less context. Notice that in the bottom of the screen, on the left side, there is an element context bar. This always shows you where you are in the document and can be another way to know more about the type of element you are working with. Here we are in the P element, inside the con body, within the concept. Based on your preferences, you can show element boundaries, tags, or completely turn off all boundary markup. Each click toggles the boundaries on or off. Remember to save the file before closing it, as you'll need it in later tutorials. Now you know how to create a standalone concept. Click the annotation to move on to Tutorial 5, where you'll further develop a topic with additional information in the prologue and metadata elements. All of these tutorials are also featured in our book, Adobe FrameMaker 2017, A Hands-On Guide to Creating DITA Content. For more information, or to order your own copy, visit the Publishing Smarter website.